Hello, everybody, and welcome inside our NHL Network studios. I'm Nick Gismondi, getting you caught up on all the action from around the league. Two big game sevens to tell you about. One in the east, one in the west. Let's get you to the highlights. Let's go back out to Nick Gismondi. All right, thanks, Paul. Thanks, guys. Yeah, the excitement has not changed at all here as a result of the weather. In fact, it's just as busy as it's been in years past. The elite women just came out. They held them inside the church till the very last moment. And an exciting first half. Well, last month, New Zealand became the first nation to defend the Rugby World Cup title and hoist rugby's greatest prize, the Webb Ellis Cup. William Webb Ellis is the schoolboy who was attributed with creating the game of rugby back in 1823. Despite the miles you skied over the years, how important is it that you have that time of prep heading into the 2016 season? Beaver Creek is not the only resort having some fun during these world championships. Vail, just 10 minutes east on I-70, hosted a race during the championships and also held concerts and events over these past two weeks. Before we go, one more stop, and that's the Capitol Trail, where we find out that Virginia is not just for lovers, it's for bike lovers too. The New Zealand All Blacks are arguably the most popular and most successful squads heading into this year's Rugby World Cup. And like any team, it takes hard work and dedication to be the best. But every once in a while, there has to be a little fun mixed in as well. A correspondent in Panama was quoted as saying, the Marines have landed and the situation is well in hand. Ain't that the truth? Hi, everybody, and welcome to Podium 360, presented by GEICO. I'm Nick Gizmondi. Police in Germany have thwarted a planned Islamist attack after detaining a couple with suspected Salafist militant links. And how about a guy like Svindel, who came in as the favorite, ended up finishing in fifth. Now, he still comes away with the downhill globe, but not necessarily the race he was looking for. Now, you've been on a world podium the last four years. Of those four, two of them are gold. You're clearly the world number one. What kind of pressure does that put on you going into this year, an Olympic year? For you, it wasn't necessarily about coming back here and winning it or defending it successfully. It was just about doing what you wanted to do out here and run a race that you wanted to race. It didn't go precisely that way, stopping or finishing in eighth place. But are you happy with the day today for yourself? 